Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dry the Matolo, and we're here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button, and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content, and we're gonna get straight into the video. Welcome back guys, this video is all about the 2004 Subaru Impreza. So guys, like always, we are going to do the add-on method. So make sure you guys download all the requirements that is inside my description below. And make sure that they are all the latest version. Once you guys have completed that, then make sure you guys do install it. And download this mod, I will leave this mod inside my description below as well. As you always guys, I already downloaded this mod, so I don't need to download it. Once you guys have completed all that, all you guys gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click and open file location. Now guys, as you can see that I am using a modder folder, so I don't need to install the requirements. Head to your mods folder, go to your update folder, Go to your Time64 folder and then head to your DRC packs folder. Now go to your Subaru WRX STI extract folder, open up your folder and then now click on files and then now after that guys click on your SSTI file and then I'll drag it onto your DRC packs folder. Once you guys have completed that, head back on your extract folder and now click on your readme.txt file and then you'll see a code on number two. Right down here guys, copy the DRC packs code over here and then exit out of your text file, exit out of your extract folder, then now head to your open IV and then click on Grand Theft Auto V Windows. This may take a few seconds, it depends on your PC performance. Once the application opens up like this, head to edit mode, select yes, and then go into your mods folder, go to update, go to update.rpf, and go to common, go to data, Scroll right down the bottom and then you'll see drclist.xml. Hover over it, right click and go to edit. Scroll right down the bottom and then right next to the item, click over there guys, press enter once and then now push control and V and paste your code right there guys. Click on save. Head back to your drclist.xml and double check to see if the code is there. And yes, it's STI. Exit out of your application and then go to edit mode, go to GTAV, exit out of your open IV. And then now guys, all you guys gotta do next is head to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Right click on your main folder, refresh your folder, exit out of your Grand Theft Auto V folder. And then right click on your desktop, refresh your desktop, and then now guys, I will see you in the game. And we are back guys with Franklin, and we are going to spawn the vehicle. So there is a few ways to spawn the vehicle. It depends on what menu you got. So I'm going to try it on Trainer V. You can try it on Menu or any other menu that you got, okay guys? But make sure you know the code, okay? So to spawn it with your trainer V, press F4, and then scroll down to vehicle spawning, then go right down the bottom to edit vehicle menu, and it should be over here, uh, I think it's about, yes, right there, right there, guys, and there you go, guys, right there, see, guys, and that is the Subaru WRX, nice, guys, now, you can modify the car, okay, guys, so don't worry, the car isn't just like that, okay? You can modify the car, but guys, it, it takes ages to modify the car. 
So what I'm going to do guys is that I'm going to make a video okay and you guys will see it after this. So guys, with that we'll see it okay. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Don't forget guys to stay tuned because there will be a video and you guys will see the vehicle fully modded. Okay guys, so if you guys still need help on how to install the vehicle, then please let me know in the comments or join my Discord server and I'll be more than welcome to help you guys out. And don't forget guys to smash that like button if you're new here and subscribe if you're new here too guys. So guys with that I said, if you guys like this video, smash that like button. And if you guys are new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and I'll see you guys on my next video. Don't forget to stay tuned for the video.